to work with services using TrueOps mobile app, you should learn to perform the activities described in this video. This video will walk you through the following goals and also the steps to achieve these goals. Selecting services and enabling service notification. Selecting the notification criteria. Viewing services and service details, which is viewing the health of services at a glance. Working with event notifications otherwise known as performing event operations. Before installing the True Ops on your mobile device, you must have the required permissions, the server details, and the following working components, True Site Presentation Server Version 10.7 and True Site Infrastructure Management Server Version 10.7. Before proceeding to learn your goals, you must first set services as the default view. If you are a first-time user of TrueOps and installed version 10.7, then you can set this option when you first log into the app. If you are an existing user who is upgrading from version 10.5 to 10.7, then you can go to the settings menu, select default view to set this option. Now let us proceed to goal number 1 selecting services for notifications and enabling notifications and learn the steps to achieve this goal. To select services for viewing, tap on select services. You can select all services at one go or select individual services. Notice that the bell or event notification icon is enabled for the selected service by default. You have an option to deselect the bell icon. This will disable only the notification from being sent for that service. The selected the service when impacted can still be viewed in the services view. You can enable the notification anytime by tapping on the bell icon again. Remember, if you select the All Services option, then all the currently listed services get selected. Now let us proceed to goal number 2 selecting the notification criteria and learn the steps to achieve this goal. Use the back button on top left of the page to navigate to the settings page. From the settings page, Tap on Select Notification Criteria. By default, only the unavailable option is selected. Select the notification criteria of your choice and save the changes. Only the services impacted by the selected notification criteria are listed in the Services view. Now let us proceed to goal number 3 Viewing Services and Service Details, and learn the steps to achieve this goal. To view the list of services, Use the back button to navigate to the settings page and tap on services. The services view is displayed. Only those services that are impacted by the selected notification criteria are listed in this view. You can tap on a service to view the associated events, devices, and application details. Tap on events, devices, and applications tabs to view the list of all events, devices, and applications associated with the service. You can tap on any event, device, or application from the list to view more details. This way you can navigate back and forth to view all the associated details. Now let us proceed to goal number 4 performing event operations and learn the steps to achieve this goal. You can perform an event operation using one of the ways described here. From the Service Details, Events tab. Swipe on any event towards the left of your screen to view event operations. You will see a sign, Close, More Options. You can tap on a preferred option and perform the event operation. You can wait for the event status to be updated automatically, which may take a few seconds or you can manually refresh the page to view the change immediately. Alternatively, you can open an event from the Events tab. From the top right, tap on the Action menu to view event operations. You can perform the event operation. 
you can wait for the event status to be updated automatically, which may take a few seconds or you can manually refresh the page to view the change immediately. Notification Message and Notification When a new notification arrives, a notification message is seen on top of the screen when you are inside the app. This is an informational message and tapping on it does not take you to the service details view. All the new notifications can be viewed from your device's notification area. Remember the following information. Tapping on a notification launches the true ops and directly takes you to the service details view. Tapping on a notification clears only the selected notification from the notification area. Congratulations! You are ready to use the TrueOps mobile app to view the health of your services and perform event operations. You can repeat these steps for viewing applications by replacing applications in place of services described in this video. Go to Settings and select Applications to proceed. On the app, go to Settings and tap on Help to view App Level Help. For additional details, visit BMC Online Product Documentation at docs.bmc.com. Read Getting Started with TrueOps Mobile App Topic Thanks for watching the video.